we go. Welcome, folks. And with us, Rangers superstar, Ryan Strom. Welcome, Ryan. We're so happy to have you aboard. And welcome. Yeah, thanks, Ted. You're, you're a beauty. I mean, you, you already with the introduction, you're way too nice to me. So I, I appreciate it. Not way too nice. You're the most humble, nicest guy that I've done signings with. And I, even when you did the signings last year, everybody couldn't stop talking about you. Like, uh, you remind me of Adam Graves. You know, Adam Graves is the most humble guy I've ever met as a Ranger. And you're right up there. And that's a pretty good high compliment from all these Ranger fans that, that said about you, Ryan. And I'm hoping that A that you had on this year becomes a permanent A or a permanent C because I know you're well-loved in the locker room and, and, and you're well-loved by the team. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. I mean, obviously it's, uh, you know, it's never about the letter or whatever, but I feel like at the same time, uh, you know, being a leader is something I really pride myself in. I feel like I go out of my way to try to make everyone feel welcome and have a good time at the rink. And um, I think just at the end of the year, it was such a rocky season first. And to personally have that, you know, to, for them to give me the A at the end of the year, I think just was a, you know, a nice, compliment to me and you know the person I try to be every day and the person I try to be for my teammates and a nice reward for uh for me and my family my mom was like almost in tears so uh oh. you know it means a lot and uh especially for a franchise like the Rangers I think it's uh, super special that's great I'm wondering these 10 people that are going to ask you a question I guarantee one of them is going to ask about your mom I I'm just well it guessing. is Mother's Day so I yeah, it so. is Mother's Day and happy <laughs> Mother's Day to your mom I think everybody loves that segment when she came in the locker room but I haven't asked anybody what they're going to ask. And I'm just curious if anybody's going to bring that up about the locker room. But we'll see. I think I think God's in favor. If you're a Las Vegas betting, I think it's going to happen. So um, we're going to go to Anders from Sweden. Now, this guy has a collection of 200, over 200 range hats. One is different than the other, which is amazing. So um, let me get him aboard. And uh, he'll show you the collection. I don't and, even have a range. I don't even have a Rangers hat on myself. I got a lingering hat on. So there you that's, go. That's that's awesome. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Takes a minute, but Anders, you're live with Ryan Strom, and uh, you can see in the background. Look at that hat collection. Go ahead, Anders. Oh, got to speak, speak, speak. Wow! Oh, look at that collection. I see it. Holy. Oh. Yeah, you can see it now, Ryan. Hello. Oh my, my God! You weren't joking. That looks like a sports store. <laughs> look at that unbelievable this is what that's you do when you're already a really diehard fan you know yeah that's pretty <laughs> impressive i gotta be honest and nice and nice and lined up properly too yeah i tried to do it the best way i could and i put a lot of time uh, in this because this is a part of my life yeah no i hear you i gotta be honest i have a hat collection similar to that but it's all golf hats not ranger hats i gotta be honest so <laughs> <laughs> okay okay <laughs> good no i think this is so nice to to be able to show you guys i mean showed it for for ryan as well lingren and, and foxy and mm. just to bring up some energy for you yeah that someone in sweden can be a bit crazy you know i love uh, it <laughs> yeah thank you thank you so um i had a, a couple of questions for you and and perfect i'm all ears have, yeah well, thank you uh I will ask the same as I asked the other guys. What is your best hockey moment this year during this season? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, there was a lot of crazy stuff that went on. I scored my 100th goal. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. uh, and honestly, though, I think, honestly, the Washington game, I think uh, that's a little bit, uh, obviously, fresh in our minds. But I think um, coming together as a team like that, and I think just the reaction of our teammates and of, uh, of Brett in the dressing room and, um, I think you just saw a real band of togetherness. And I think that, uh, you know, for me, that's even though we lost the game, that's a game I'll remember for the rest of my life, just for the way uh, we kind of stuck up for each other. And um, I thought it sent a good message. There's actually been a lot of guys, even a few guys on Boston that came up to us and said they, you know, they earned a lot of respect for us. So um, okay. I think we, we sent a message. and I think that's my favorite game. Great. Great to hear. Uh, and the, the next one is uh, if you try to, to, recall the season how are you rating this season for you and the team uh, is it possible already i mean it's just ended yesterday but yeah no it's a good it's a really good question um we actually are at the rink today doing some meetings and stuff and i think honestly other than the last two weeks it's been a pretty good season i think uh we had a chance at the playoffs i mean we were knocking at the door um i think all the teams in front of us are veteran teams that are trying to win the stanley cup today and i think we're still on the upswing 
So I think if you look at the big picture of things, we took some strides forward. I think um, there was a lot of adversity, whether it was COVID and the coaches getting COVID and um, some stuff on and off the ice. That There's just nonstop distractions, it felt like. So I think I think all in all for our team for two weeks ago to have a, you know, a, a chance at the playoffs and to play some meaningful games was uh, says a lot about the resilience and the growth of our guys. And I think uh, I think all in all, we have to scratch the last two weeks and look at the positives of the season. Yeah. Thank you very much. And I'm really pleased of the season because I have followed all the games, even yeah, I, though I gotta, it was during night. I got to tell you something, too. You sound a lot like Jesper Fass with your accent. So when he, <laughs> when he was my line mate last year, I got to understand him really well. So I, I, I feel like yeah. I'm talking to Jesper Fass like brother or dad or something. That's okay, awesome. good. Sweet, I'm sweet. Just, just stay in the room because when it's all over, we're all going to say goodbye to Ryan. So hang in the okay. waiting room. Thank you, Anders, for your thank you. coming aboard Here's and Anders. thank you for your support. Thank you. It's a good group. It's a, we have a we have a good click group. They're good stuff. All right, now we're going to go all the way to uh, – we'll go to Tom. Tom is from England, and Tom actually helped me a lot putting the show together. I'm not, the, I'm, a, I'm not a computer guy, and this guy is great at what he does, but he's from England, and he stays up almost every night, 1 o'clock in the beginning of the show. So Tom from England is coming aboard. Uh, so you're getting the whole world out here. And then we got somebody from Australia to follow. Let's see. We'll pop him on. Tom. You're live with Ryan Strom. Go ahead, Tom, baby. Hey, Tom. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Good, good. Surely good. Uh, sorry, just a quickie then. I was super curious. You know when Mark Stahl left? Yeah. Were you or were you super tempted to go and ask for number 18? Good question, actually. See, you're, I, know you're, I know you're a good mind because not many people would have thought of that. Um, you know you know what? I've had some pretty good success with 16 with the Rangers, so I didn't want to mess with it, so... Um, I also think a legend like that, I think the number deserves a year just, uh, just to lay there and, uh, wait for someone else to take it. But that's a good question. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad you thought of that because no one's asked me that yet. Really? Oh, wow. Because say you literally were 18, weren't you? Ever since the ice dog, weren't you? Yeah, pretty much. I wore 16 my entire life, actually, until, uh, until junior hockey. Then I wore 18 all the way up until back to the Rangers. So, um, I think when I got traded in New York, I went back to the old number. I told my parents, I said, back to 16 and. I, had, I think I was like 14 years old last time I wore the number. So uh, my dad was pretty happy. That's his favorite number. So, um, And my daughter's actually born on the 16th now, too. So it works. Everything kind of came together, oh. it seems. Oh. So you're not changing it now, then, are you? <laughs> no chance now. <laughs> well, Tom, you want to ask him another one quick? And we'll... Uh... Um, well, anyway, it was, it was like, how intense was the sibling rivalry growing up? Um, it was, it was pretty intense. I mean, I was, uh, four, four and six years older. So obviously a little bit of an age gap, but, uh, I think just having younger brothers, it's so, it was so competitive. It was, uh, sports nonstop. Uh, as we got older, it was kind of them kind of chasing down my accomplishments and then surpassing a lot of them. Um, you know, I, I think just created a nice little competition, obviously very healthy competition and, um, a great support system. It's, there's nothing like having brothers to, uh, to have your back in life and in sports and um, to be able to share kind of our whole professional journey at the same time as them is, uh, is super special because it's uh, very rare and something we're obviously, we don't take for granted because um, it doesn't last forever and um, it doesn't happen to everyone. So some, it's really cool. Honestly, we uh, we're really lucky. Yeah. I'll bet. All right, Tom, hang in there because uh, when everyone's done, we're going to put everybody on and say goodbye to, to Ryan at the end. So I'm going to put okay. you back into a, uh, into the waiting room, and then we'll uh, we'll take care of from there. All right, let's see. We got Daniel from Australia. I tell you, we got him from everywhere. Let's see. If, let me get his name up there. All the way from Australia. I it's late for him. I think it's one thirty in the morning. But listen, oh my god, who want to not stay late at night to talk to Ryan Stone? All right, let's see. Here we go. Takes a couple second delay, but. Uh, Tom deserves a lot of credit, too, because I know you're not a computer guy, so he, you're doing a pretty good job with the background and everything. Like uh, thank you very much. I, I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's, I think his – there he goes. Takes a few seconds longer because it's he's all the way in Australia. Daniel, nice. Look at that. Live, the Ryan Strom, all the way from Australia. Go ahead. Hey, Ryan. How you doing? Hey, how's it going, man? Are you joining the front row seats of the garden, it looks like there? Oh, it's, it's amazing down here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how, how's the day been? Uh, it's good. Mother's Day. So my wife's first Mother's Day. So I have to, uh, I had to get up early and get her a gift and all that stuff. So I had to make sure she had a nice day. So 
Mother's Day was number one priority today. Uh, understood, understood. Congratulations How about you? to her as well. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Thanks, mate. Um, look, I just uh, first want to say thanks so much for taking the time to do this. I mean, oh, to thank chat you. to get to chat thanks, to you. Ted. Just amazing. Yes, true. Yeah, yes. Thank you very much, Ted. <laughs> um, and also, thank you for the great year. I mean, I, I watch every game here, regardless of what time it's it's live for for me. Um, usually about eight AM over here. So um, it was a great That's season. Crazy. And yeah, thank you very much for such a such a good season. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. It's uh, to have support. I mean, the one thing I've realized being a, being a New York Ranger is that uh, obviously, and this this call kind of shows that the support's literally worldwide. And to know that someone up in the world is up at eight eight AM to watch us play, I think. Sometimes it puts things into perspective and it kind of humbles you a little bit. So I uh, appreciate your support. Appreciate it. Of course, of course. So I was just wondering, um, you've obviously played for a few other teams, the Oilers and uh, our natural rivals as well. Um, why the Rangers? What what makes playing for the Rangers so unique to you? Um, honestly, I think from the day you get here, you walk into Madison Square Garden, uh, you're in the middle of New York City. Um, I mean, the logo, the colors, it does, it's like, to play an MSG is special, even as a road player, but to be a home player there and to have to have that as your home arena, just something, there's something about it. And whether it's the goal horn, I mean, I can go on and on about the things that just feel so special about it. And um, I think to be an original six team with a lot of history, some of the players that have played for the Rangers and um, it honestly doesn't get any better. Uh, the, and not to mention the way we get treated by the organization, I think. Um, whether it's our parents in town, our wives, our, our kids, um, literally anybody, the Rangers treat them with like the utmost class and support. And I think that goes a long way in keeping players happy and um, they go above and beyond any chance they can. I think it's little things like that that make it special. But all in all, I think it's mostly the fans. I think um, there's nothing like the Garden Roar um, at home. There's also a big roar in road buildings as, you know, Ted parades, parades around with his crew and, <laughs> um, and just the people were like the, you look at the Rangers, I think they have the number one following in on Twitter and Instagram. I, the lady told me for, uh, for fans and, you know, followers and stuff, it just goes to show, um, the outreach and the support. So all, all that combined, I think make playing for the Rangers just, uh, you know, it's, it's the center of the universe. It feels like, and, uh, you know, it's super special. That's awesome. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely incredible. I've been lucky to get up, uh, get up uh, to New York and see a few games, which is, um, yeah, you're right. There's nothing like a crowd there. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah. No, did you, when you came to the game, was it, was it like what you expected or was it like, what did you think? Oh, look, I've, um, my first one when I was there was when I was 21. So about 10 years ago. Um, and since then I've been back eight times and I always, always come and see a game. Um, I yeah. actually was very lucky enough to be there for Hank's uh, 400th win, um, which was just incredible. So, yeah. Yeah. It feels like, and it feels like also with, uh, with the deep tradition with the Rangers, there's always a new milestone, a new record being broken or someone doing something special. And there's so many good nights to celebrate, whether it's Hank or uh, now it's, you know, Mika and Panarin and all these, all these cool things. I mean, guys, first goals, I mean, Taco and Laffy and all these guys, there's always something, something cool. It feels like going on. So um, the garden's a special place. It really is. Yeah. All right, Daniel, thank you for joining us and stay on because when it's all said and done, we're going to all say goodbye to Ryan Strom, hang in the waiting room. And uh, thank you for your support all the way in Australia. We appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks again, guys. All right, this next family, they come to every sign. Their kids are the cutest. Like when I do raffles, we go live. I make their two little kids pull out the raffle tickets because they're they're the cutest little things. Uh, they play for the Junior Rangers too, and they're nice. So uh, let me get them aboard. Uh, let's see, here she is. Is that your little one in the background? <laughs> no, I right, think that's them. All right, Virginia, you're live with Ryan Stroman, the family. Go ahead. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? I like your shirt, Junior Rangers. Thank you. Thank you. How, How are you guys are doing? You it's a, 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 part of me, go ahead. Say that again. How, how many years old were you when you started playing hockey? Um, I think I was four years old the first time I was uh, on a team. But uh, my... I used to have a little bit of a skating rink in like the in the fields behind my house, and I used to go skate there. I think my my dad and grandpa started when I was three. I tried to start skating, so I wasn't too good at first, but 
by the time I got to four, five, and six, I started to get a little bit better. So, but I was pretty young. It is. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. Um, before the season started, uh, everyone agreed that uh, the team has enough talent, including you, uh, that can at least bring the team to uh, playoffs. Uh, what do you think went wrong then? It didn't happen. Um, good question. I Good question. I think uh, I think the slow start, to be honest with you, I think um, I think the first month or month and a half of the season wasn't good enough. I think we were kind of uh, we kind of couldn't really get any traction. I think even though we kind of made it look close at the end, uh, we made a little bit of a run. I think the season was kind of lost in the beginning. I think in a short season, it's so important to get off to a good start, and uh, and we didn't do that out of the gates, and we didn't seem to have that chemistry that we finished the year with. We didn't kind of have the jam and. It took us a little bit while, a little, or sorry, it took us a little while to get that back. And we started to do it towards the end in the middle of the season, which was good, a good sign moving forward. But I think um, I spoke about this uh, today with a few guys that I think getting off to a good start next season is a, a key because I think the last two seasons we haven't really hit the ground running. And um, I think when you're playing catch up all year, it makes the, it makes the season really hard. And like the last 20 games, it felt like playoff games. So even though we missed the playoffs, like our bodies are, pretty sore because the games have been so meaningful. We've had, to, we've had to almost win every game. Like, I think at one point we were 15 wins and like f four or five losses and we barely made up any points. Like, it's really hard to get back in the race. So I think the beginning of the season really hurt us. Thank you. Unfortunately. I know. You have a question? Uh, don't be shy. Uh, you can ask Ryan anything. Well, um, when you were, what was your position when you were a kid? When you Good, good question. Um, I've always actually played forward or center. I've never played defense. I don't think one game in my entire life. So um, I don't know why. I think it just kind of uh, my dad put me in forward and that's kind of where I stood. And um, yeah, that's where I've been. I'm not, I'm also not a great backward skater. So maybe that has something to do with it. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for coming on and stay, stay. Stay on because we're all going to say goodbye to Ryan at the end. So stay in the waiting room and thank you for coming on as okay. always, guys. Thanks, guys. Okay. All right, here we go. This this young lady's been on on every night on my show. We, I, this is 420 nights in a row I've been on. For Are you now. serious? Wow. Yeah. Since the pandemic, that's why they, you know, I was lucky to get the Rangers to do a commercial. But I started as fun, Ryan, just, just to go on and talk about hockey. Then everybody started sending me emails like I'm, I'm disabled or I'm depressed. And this, and I'm like, don't worry, I'll keep doing it. And now we've been on for 420 consecutive nights. She's been on every night except one. So she's a diehard fan. So I love it. That's dedication. So Sharon's coming aboard now. And, uh, See, I'm learning you with this zoom thing. It's always, there you go. Sharon, you're live with Ryan Strom. Go ahead. Hi, Sharon. Oh, I think you're, I think you're on mute. Hi, how are you? Sorry. <laughs> Always I me. Like, I, I like your background. It looks good. Yeah, I think Ted stole it from me, honestly. There you go. Okay. <laughs> see, I knew, I knew he didn't do that on his own. Yeah, see? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's so true. So thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. No, thank you for the uh, Iron Man streak. 420 consecutive days. That's impressive. <laughs> Oh my God, you're hysterical. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Give it All to right. Me. Um, thank you for the amazing season. Um, you all persevered and came through on top as far as I'm concerned. And I have never been more proud than now to be a Ranger fan. So for that, I thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I agree. I think, like I said, there was a lot of... Uh... There was a lot of uh, stuff thrown at us this year. And I think uh, the fact that we at least made it close towards the end and had a little bit of a chance, I think, says a lot about uh, the perseverance and some of the leadership that was kind of obtained this year. I wholeheartedly agree. Um, I, I, you guys just make me proud. So thank you. Um, so me being, well, not so much anymore, but me being a hockey mom, um, I know I've embarrassed my boys at times. <laughs> So, and we all know your mom. Is <laughs> there one thing that your mom, like, you were ever truly embarrassed that your mom did? <laughs> um, 
I don't think ever really embarrassed. Um, she's always done a pretty good job of kind of just staying pr pretty quiet. Um, I got to be honest, hearing her in the dressing room do the starting lineup was not the most embarrassing, but the most like nervous I've ever been when she's around because it was just my two worlds clashing. It was like my buddies and my teammates and my peers and my like in my equipment and rah rah and all that <laughs> coming in like my mom who's like changed my diapers and has brings me food and <laughs> takes care of me. You know what I mean? So it's kind of my two worlds colliding. So I would say that honestly, that's probably the only time in my life where she really made me sweat and nervous. And <laughs> she didn't even do anything wrong. So. Well, kudos to mom. I would have been thrilled to do the same thing if my kids had made it that far in hockey. But <laughs> yeah, she uh, she did she she did a good job. She that's not uh, she did. Although that although it seems pretty cool when you're actually in that moment, that's pretty nerve wracking and there's a lot yeah. of pressure. So I'm glad she uh, I'm glad she stood up and did it. I uh, yeah, I can wholeheartedly agree with that. Well, thank you again, Ryan. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. And next season, let's go. Keep thank doing you what you guys support. are doing. We're gonna hit the ground running. We're gonna have a good season. Awesome. I can't yeah, wait to watch. Wait what? in the waiting room because Ryan's going to say goodbye to everybody at the end. So we'll see Oh, you soon. are. You're so sweet. <laughs> uh, see I tried. So I told you the Las Vegas on. Somebody about asking your mom. There you go. There you go. And the it's funny a, thing it's is. A, it's I, a five guess. And well, the funny thing is we practiced everybody on to make sure the Zoom's working. Sharon wasn't on. And I had this background. And I go, I'm going to bet $1,000 that she's going to have the same she's exact background. Yes. And when she popped up about an hour ago, I started to crack up. Not that I want to take credit for the background, but but the, there you go. <laughs> I, I just thought it was perfect. All right, let us go to uh, Pete and his kids. And uh, Pete is actually going to be DJing the August 8th event. All right, so we'll get – and I grew up with Pete since I was a kid. So, all right, Pete, you're live with Ryan Strom. Go ahead, Pete. Hi, guys. Ah. Hey, Ted. Hi. How you guys doing? Good, good, good. Hey, Ryan. I like the Liberty sweatshirt. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Oh, yeah. We're getting ready to go to baseball now. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the outfit. There you go. Yeah, we got a game. I, I met you the other night with Ted. That's right. Yeah. Great game the other night, by the way. We love, we love the grit. The way yeah, you guys... Yeah, that, uh, that was pretty fun. We were... Uh... We were pretty anxious before the game. I don't think many people knew what was coming, but we were uh, we were ready to rumble. So that was, good. That was nice. I, I was. We were hoping that you were guys all going to have glasses like the Hansons before the game. <laughs> yeah, brass knuckles or something, right? <laughs> right, right. You all held your own, though. You did well. It was good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. So you guys want to say say anything? Good win last night. Yeah, that was good. I think uh, the last two weeks have been kind of a bit of a gong show. So. Um, to get a win and just, you know, cap it off on a good note against one of the best teams, I think is, uh, you know, a good taste in our mouth going into the summertime and uh, can, you know, leave everyone a little bit of a, uh, on a high note, you know. Absolutely. It was nice to see some of the young guys score too, like Laffy scored and Kravy scored and, um, you know, all that. I think that that's good for their confidence too, you know. Absolutely. So, so. you got the uh... – I was telling them too. You got a you got a baby on the way, right? I have <laughs> one now, who's one, and then I have another one on the way too. Yeah, so I'm uh, pretty oh, busy nice. out here these days. I'm, this is what this is what you have to look forward to. All sports. Have, are, is is it just the three brothers? I, I have an older daughter, but she's a she's an adult already. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> but I, so we I had soccer with, in the morning and baseball yeah. in the afternoon. Now. I grew up with uh, three brothers, so my parents. I don't think got a vacation other than hockey or lacrosse tournaments for like 20 years. So I know how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start playing hockey? Like what age? Uh, I was four. Mm. I was four. So pretty young. I mean, it's pretty young, but at the same time up in Canada, there's not really much else to do. And everyone kind of, uh, everyone in the winter time puts their kid in hockey. So my dad was no different. And um, it was only like paperweight or house league, whatever they call it. So it wasn't anything too serious once or twice a week. And yeah, kind of just got good and got lucky. So. Right. Well, you're doing you're doing a heck of a job, man. <laughs> so I appreciate keep, it. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Pete. Thanks, Pete, Thank for you. coming on. Take See you, boys. Nice to meet you guys. You too. You too. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank All right. Got a couple more to go. I think you got two more to go. Uh, hope you. I don't miss out, everybody. All right. Let's go to Roman. Here you go. You got your hands full. Two little girls you're going to have. Uh, mayhem. 
Uh, May I, grew up with, I grew up with three boys and I got all the girls. It's just my my world's reversed. <laughs> all right, Roman, you're live with Ryan Strom. Go ahead. Hey, how, how are you? How's it going? Good, good. Uh, me and Ethan met you last year, one of Teddy's uh, I events. Say, and, I think I recognize Ethan's uh, smile there. Ah, uh, all right. And he said that, that Ryan was so cool. I definitely want to meet him again. So I, I appreciate you doing this. This is uh, this is 2021. This is how we have to meet, but it's okay. We're I gonna, know. At least we get to do this. Exactly, exactly. See, he's, he's a little shy, but the question he had for you was, uh, when, when did uh, you start playing hockey and who was your favorite player growing up? Um, good questions. Uh, I started playing when I was like four. Um, up in Canada, they have like a house league level and it starts at four to six years old. So my dad put me in at four years old and it wasn't too good my first few years, but kind of got a little bit better as I got older. And okay. um, growing, growing up, I lived in Toronto. So my favorite player was uh, Matt Sundin. Um, he was, uh, obviously the Leafs, he was the captain of the Leafs and he was like kind of the best player at the time for them. And, um, you know, growing up in Toronto, you just want to be like the best player. And he was the guy. So he was my favorite player. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Very nice. Well, yeah, Ethan started playing, uh, for a local league here in New Jersey, nice. um, about a year ago. So, uh, he what plays for the Mike. On? Is there a name on the back on that thing or is it blank? Who do you go? Yeah. Let's see. There he is. The bread man. Good choice. <laughs> Good choice. Who's is who's your favorite player on the Rangers, Ethan? You and Panarin. See, good answer. You could be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. How old are you, Ethan? Seven. Seven. Nice. So you got to uh, you got to work on your skills so you can take my job one day, right? Yeah. That's a, that, that's a, that's his dream to be a New York Ranger one day. That's good. Dream big, buddy, because it's uh, it's the coolest thing in the world to play for the Rangers. So. Thank you. Any other questions? No? All right. No, you Thank got, you, you so much. I appreciate else. it. You, you can't think of anything else. Nothing. Come on. One it could be anything. What is your favorite team growing up? Growing up? Okay, good answer. Uh, growing up was the Leafs because I lived in Toronto. But uh, as I got a bit older, it wasn't, it wasn't Toronto anymore because everyone is biased at my hometown. I don't like to hear about them. So now it's the <laughs> Rangers, and everyone in my family likes the Rangers. They have no choice. So that's it. Exactly. Us too. Our whole family is all about the Rangers now. There you go. That's how it should be. That's right. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, Thanks so much. And nice, hopefully... to, nice to see you guys again. I appreciate the support. I love the jersey. Keep smiling. Keep working hard. Thank you. Thank you so much. And hopefully next time we'll meet you in person again. That would be beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. we get Ted to set it up. Sounds good. Thank you, Ted. Right, Thank guys. you, Ryan. I appreciate it, guys. We can all say goodbye to Ryan at the end. So hang in the waiting room. Uh, I only got one more person to go. And we'll all say goodbye to Ryan. Uh, all right, one more to go. Let me just go through the list to make sure. I don't want to forget anybody. Then I'll. But uh, all right, here we go. It's oh, two more people to go. So, all right, Jason. Jason's going to come on the board. Hey, Jason, you're live with Ryan Strum. Go ahead, buddy. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Hey, Jason. How's it going, man? I'm I'm pretty good. Just. Uh winding down it's mother's day so hanging out and uh you know the season's obviously over now so just kind of relaxing and uh you know get the body back to normal the body's pretty sore right now so hey, hey, hey. grads on being a new father yeah thank you yeah it's uh it's been quite the year on and off the ice so it's uh nice to have some downtime now and although i was watching hockey last night at like 11 30 at night so i guess i still miss, miss it a little bit already so yeah understandable you have a so, question for uh, Ryan? Yeah, I'm pulling it up. Yep. So how do you, how does it feel like being part of the Rangers? It's the best. I was uh, just telling to somebody before you that the, I know it's an original six team and um, I know how special the history is. I know how many fans and how much they care. And I, I love New York and I love the way the people are. And I love the attitude and the mindset. And um, it means a lot to be a Ranger. I think, I think that's something that, uh, you learn year by year, and I've fully tried to embrace that. And um, I think that uh, you know New York's a special place, and playing for the Rangers is a huge privilege. And um, ever since day one, I haven't taken it for granted. And um, I hope I play the rest of my career in New York. To be honest with you. Ooh, okay, and uh, how do you feel about the Ranger fans? Uh, they're unreal. Like I just. I said this the other night in my interview after the crazy Washington game with all the fights, I said, 
my only regret is that not the whole fan. I wish it was a sellout in the garden because um, there's no crowd like the garden, the roars, the screams, the boos, the, the singing, the chanting. I think it's uh, New York's a very, very, very uh, interesting, intriguing place. And they love the Rangers and uh, we love the fans, I think. Although it was a good season and, you know, we, I think we still had a good year. It's, it's not quite the same without the fans being there. And I think next year everyone's looking forward to having the full, the full packed house again. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate you coming on and hang in the waiting room because we're all going to say goodbye to Ryan. We've got one more person to go. I'll tell you, Ryan, I, I've been a fan since 79, 30 years going to the Garden. The biggest one, that biggest game I ever went to, I only miss one game a year, only when I go on cruises, but that won't happen anymore. But the biggest game I saw was Mateau, obviously getting that game seven goal was the Garden almost the roof fell off. But the proudest moment and the most goosebumps I've ever had was the Washington game. And I, I knew they might go after Wilson, but just everybody dropping their gloves. And the guys that were on the ice, like Rooney, Giuseppe, uh, it, it just it showed so much Ranger pride. Like, I, I can't explain. I know you guys felt the same thing. And then when you had your your fight and you, you stepped it up and Potato and and Brandon Smith, just like the, 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 the veins in them to go after. Well, like, I was so proud to be a Ranger fan. It's not that I wanted anyone hurt. Like, I'm a dire fan, and I know it's not the olden days, the Broad Street Bullies, the Flyers, but I'm telling you, Ryan, I was never more proud to be a Ranger fan, and even that moment's going to stick. For, like, the last game winning was great. That's going to carry me over in the summer, I think, a lot of fans. But being there that six minutes was my proudest moment of being a Ranger fan because it just it, – it brought unity together. It brought the range, and it was an amazing feeling. That's why when he brought up – you know, people are bringing up about the Washington. That's what I wanted to – tell you about it. it was amazing I think I think the best word you said there is unity I think that was very important and obviously you know Panarin's our uh, our MVP and I think that shit can't fly and I think we let that uh, we let that be known oh uh, it's great and and I and Panarin well appreciated I think everybody around the league you had ex NHL players just saying I want to step in there and a lot of respect around the NHL for the Rangers and a lot of respect I do have I mean I'm a die but I have so much respect for you guys and I I am so excited for next year, Ryan, to be honest with you. I, I've i never had so much fun being a Ranger fan. This year I know was a little roller coaster ride, but so much excitement ready for next year. And that's what I tell the fans when we do our show every night. We have the most positive fan base. Like I just, I you know, it's got to be that way, and we can't wait till next year. I agree, buddy. I can hardly wait myself. I, I told you I was watching hockey last night. I was revved up. <laughs> that's great. All right, we got one more person to go, and then we'll let you. I know you got a Mother's Day, and you got a little one, and – uh Let's see, we're going to uh, Joseph Davis. All right, here he comes. Our last guest, but not our least, Joseph Davis. You're live with Ryan Strong. How are you? And the little ones behind you. And the Hi, little guys. How are you? How are you, Ryan? Hi. Not bad. I'm doing okay. I, uh, what, what, who's, whose name's on the jersey back there? Who, who do you got on the back? Who do you got on the back? Uh, that is... Gabrick. Gabrick. And I nice. am from here. And we nice. got Lafreniere in the back. Good choices. I like those. Those are pretty cool. Thank nice. you. Well, happy like Mother's Day to you and your family. Yeah, thank you very much. It's uh, Mother's Day is a special day for the beautiful moms out there. Absolutely. Yeah. We got a we got a couple of questions. Let's hear them. First question is: Who changes better diapers, you or your bride? Uh, <laughs> my bride, for sure, hundred <laughs> percent. She's had more practice. <laughs> okay, that's a, good one. that's a good one. The second question is, uh, as a Ranger in your Ranger career, what was your best memory and what is your worst memory? My worst memory so far is probably the Carolina series. I just think we, um, I just don't think we had our best. I think that's pretty, it was just a little bit, a little bit demoralizing. I think it just put a bad taste in our mouths for, um, you know, the good team we had that year and just the circumstances were tough, but a little bit disappointing. And um, in terms of best moments, there's been so many, I think. Uh, you look back on Lafreniere's first goal, Kako's first goal, that, that are pretty exciting. Uh, you look back on like Mika's five goal game was pretty cool. But I think me and Ted were just talking. I think that Washington game so far st stands out. I think the unity we showed the other night getting into some scraps and standing up for Panarin, I think, uh, I think that I think that goes a long way in building when a team really needs to win. I think, um, although we're not the toughest team, I think we showed up and we 
and I, we earned a lot of respect. So I think that sticks out in my mind. 100%. And listen, uh, thank you very much for the time that you spent and, and giving us joy. And, and, and we really, really appreciate it. And we back you 100%. I, and, I, I appreciate that. I mean, and all health, health and happiness, you and your family going, uh, going into the summer. I appreciate that. Do the little, the, the little ones have a question back there? Or are they good? You got a question? What's your question, Mikey? Um, how does it feel um, just teaching the younger players that are coming in to the Rangers? Good question. That's a really, really, really good question. Um, I think it's very important. I think it's not really as much teaching them as just kind of showing them the way. I think a lot of those guys are so young. Like last year, Lafreniere was living in Quebec playing junior hockey. Now he's in New York City playing in the NHL. There's just your life is completely different. So I think just showing them the ropes, helping them out a little bit, obviously they have to kind of learn on their own, but I think just guiding them a little bit, showing them how to act, what to do, uh, how to treat people, how to take care of yourself, just little things like that. It's almost like, it's almost like looking up to your dad, you know, your dad's your role model, you learn from him, stuff like that. And um, Although I'm not his dad in any way, I think uh, similar, similar type feeling where, you know, he learns from his elders and I think it's very important to show those guys the ropes because one day they're going to show the next guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good question. Thanks. You got a question? Um, how do you think COVID like ha has affected? Yeah. How do you think COVID has like affected the team? Uh, well, to be honest with you, I'd say almost 50 to 75% of our team actually got COVID. So uh, we had a lot of guys that actually had had it. So, um, but, but I think honestly, the biggest impact was the fans. Um, I think not having the full, full crowd at Madison square garden, I think really hurt us. I think we really feed off the energy and the excitement and how much the fans, you know, they care and all that. And I think, um, I think that was probably the biggest thing was just missing all our fans. Even, even the Washington game, if the, if that crowd was full, it would have been totally bananas in there. So, um, yeah. that was probably the biggest difference this season and getting your nose swabbed every day. That was a little bit annoying too. <laughs> I'm, sure. I'm, yeah. sure. I'm sure well thank you very much again and let's give a let's go rangers ready one two three let's go rangers All right, joseph stay on because we're going to put everybody on to say goodbye since you're the last but hang in the waiting room we'll put everybody back on okay all right, Ryan. Hey, listen, I just want to say uh, thank you. I'm humbled to have you aboard. On Mother's Day, I took you away from Mother's Day, and I'm sorry. Apologize no to, she, she, listen, she apologize her. to your wife for me. And uh, if, if you do come in August or October starts and we have another, we're definitely going to have you aboard another side. I'll uh, I'll thank your wife personally, but that's uh, she, uh, don't worry. She's getting her nails done right now, so she's fine. Uh, that, she's a happy camper then. Uh, there she goes. I, I just have to say, and I, I I, you're the most humble guy. Like Tony, you are. You guys are make Ranger fans so happy. But you are genuine. You are. You got a good heart. And I know everywhere you went to, you were in Edmonton, and I know they weren't happy when you left because you're great in the locker room, great with the teammates. Same thing with the Islanders, and same thing with the Rangers. I they got to put the A on you or the C on you and keep you aboard because part of the team going forward is that locker room and that love with the teammates, and that's a big important thing on the team and you are the hugest piece of that and I just hope uh I want to thank you for coming on and I'm very grateful thanks Ted no you're uh those words are way too kind but uh I appreciate it and any like I said anything you ever need I'm in your corner all day so let me uh, know Ryan I, I appreciate every little thing and we're gonna get everybody aboard just to say goodbye yeah, bring them in one last goodbye with everybody uh and uh those that were <laughs> Good enough to hold on and wait. There you go. Let's get a group shot of everybody. There you go, everyone. All right, folks. We're at one last goodbye. We'll wait Sharon to come on too. But this is really like there you go. All right, folks. Thank you, everyone, for joining Ryan. So we want to come everybody on and say, let's go, Rangers. Let's go, Rangers. Let's go, let's go Rangers. Rangers. We got Anders. There he is from Sweden. He's a little behind in time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Anders. <laughs> thank you. If I, thank if you, I Ryan. Say too, thank you so much for your guys' support. I mean, although the season was a little bit rocky, I think um, we the reason we do it is because people like you and how much you inspire us. And I can't wait to fill the gardens uh, full capacity the next season. And also thanks to Ted. I mean, without a guy like Ted, we wouldn't have this interaction with, 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 with the fans. And 
Um, although it's probably exciting for you guys, I promise you it's just as cool for us because um, it's cool to interact with you guys because we know how much you care and how much you cheer us on. And um, Ted, Ted's so, so genuine and uh, he cares so much. So thank you to Ted because uh, he makes this all possible. And uh, hopefully next year it's back at Mustang Harry's and we can meet all you guys again and we can hang out and have a beer or whatever. So uh, looking forward to next year. <laughs> Sounds like a I good will be there. there. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful summer. Thank you. Good luck to Thank you. daughter number two coming up. Brian, all summer. the best. And uh, we're hoping that you get that A or C when we come back in uh, September for preseason. If only you were the coach and GM, Ted. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. All right. Thank you, everyone. Happy, Thank happy you. Mother's Day to your wife and your mom. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.